I was dating a girl All right. named, what if I should say her name? Her name was Shannon. I'll just leave it at Shannon. All right. This was in high school. Okay. She, I was so, I was so into her and she was not into me, but she was she went to a bunch of things with me, but man, I was into her. She was so, she, okay. anyway. And, right. well, and so I had tickets to go see Billy, uh, Billy Idol and the cult was opening up. Actually, I'd okay. never even heard of the cult. Had no idea who they are, but she had. And so we're at Billy, Billy Idol. Idol, and she's excited to see For the cult. Rubble, probably why she went. Rubble Yell Tour. No, this was Whiplash Smile, I think, when I saw him. Really? Dude, let me tell you something. Okay, go ahead. Billy Idol, in my top three concerts ever. Billy Idol, believe it or not. I, it was, actually, I just read something that he's with Steve Stevens. They're doing like a tour dude, thing. He, he was... You want to go see him? He was so... I would love to. He was so... Right, we'll do that. Now, this was an arena. Three random records. This is an arena, 18,000 people, like huge. On the road. But you know what was so amazing about him is it was one of the... Cl- getting back to what I said about <laughs> uh, Rob Halford, Halford before, it was one of the classiest concerts I'd ever seen in my life. It was just... The stage was clean. Uh, Steve Stevens had a half Marshall stack. That's it. The whole stage is this open, open. The lights are great. The sound in an arena, I'd never heard anything sound as good as this did. It was just everything cool. was dialed in. It was so good. But these guys opened, opened up. up. And the girl that I was with knew their song, She Sell Sanctuary. Okay. Well, they had it, son, make my back burn. You know, it, and all the teenage girls back then knew it, and I had no idea. Then this album was came out. That, that, that one's album. off Nirvana. Love. Love. When they had a, a song, song on Nirvana love. on yes, there. Sorry. So Got Electric comes up. out. Backwards. Which And these guys look so weird, man. I didn't make any sense. But then you listen to this album. And then I, but then when they came out and started playing, I'm like, there's there's Ian Ashbury with that long black hair. Super long kind of, black hair. Yeah. And and he did, and, and they've got these huge, like, uh, Gretsch guitars, you know. And, 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 yeah. and you go, what is going on here? Because they're yeah. playing this ACDC kind of rocking stuff, which is what this album. Anyway. I, I, hate, I know I keep repeating this. This is one of the greatest albums ever made, and so one of your favorites. So man, so this is definitely I have a story my favorite. about this. Al- it is. This is you. You, okay. it, you cannot. This is this ranks up there with Back in Black as far as just straight ahead great rock and roll start to the end, start to end. Yeah, I can play this they from beginning play, to they end. They actually had uh, they did a cover, uh, Born to Be Wild on here too. Yes. So we had a band. And we had this, I think I've talked about this before, how we had some songs in this movie in Park City years ago, right after the Super Bowl in 1995. Well, because we had kind of made these Hollywood connections and we were in this movie and everything, all of a sudden record executives wanted to talk to us down in LA, okay? Okay. So, guess who I got to go to LA with for a week? Freaking attorney. Shannon. Which sucked, no, this was years later. <laughs> but the pro, so he, I, there's a reason I'm telling you this story. So I'm with, we, we rented, this is, ni- I guess this was 94. We rented a brand new 1994 um, Mustang. Brand new. Okay. White. We're driving through the desert, summer, through we, I-15 down towards, t- down towards uh, Los, uh, Los Angeles. And I will never forget being out in the desert, top down, and we turned this on, and it was the greatest, one of the greatest nights of my life and one of the most disappointing nights of my life all at the same time. Because you're in the warm desert air. Okay. In a brand new Ford Mustang, listening to one of the greatest rock albums of the time and maybe ever with my attorney. <laughs> and I mean, it's like you're in this moment and you're like, who would I want to have with me right now? Not right. him. No. You know? Shannon. I mean, I would Shannon or some, you know, <laughs> somebody. somebody not him right. where you're like sharing this thing together you know there's something magical in the air that night i, I love the heat at night and the, the where this you know the, the the stars and the whole thing and with my attorney but dude this album it was it was so good if you've if you've never heard this album before you must yeah it's get it it's and listen to it it's you just right. cannot beat this record so my introduction to this album is actually you we're like, you gotta. Li- have you heard these guys? I'm like, the cult, no. And he showed me the album, and I'm like, dude, they look weird. Weird, like what you know. And then you what put it on, and I remember you telling me, he's like, anybody 
because they have a song on here called Aphrodisiac Jacket. Aphrodisiac Jacket. And you said... Aphrodisiac Jacket, yeah! Right, <laughs> exactly. Oh gosh, yeah. And, and you were like, anybody that can put that as a chorus or lyrics and make a song out of it, they're damn cool. <laughs> and I'm like, what the... F-? Like, I don't even get it. Oh but then gosh. I, you know... Uh, What's peace dog? Peace dog is the peace is a dirty word. It used yeah. to be a painted bird. Yeah. Uh, and uh, wash wow, she's hot. Oh, dude. I mean, this album. And so, I got into it and changed me, man. It was this is so awesome. I mean, my daughter. Do- I have a shirt, a T-shirt that I got that's got this logo on it. My daughter wears it all the time. She's like, this is cool. And it's got like a skull, um, crossbones, kind of in place of the picture. Um, is by far one of my favorite bands since that moment, um, and uh, and I remember, same like you, like just driving down. It's if you want to get pumped up and you want to just put something on. I remember going to work, I think with Ron, and we would like crank this in the car and just be like, yeah. you know, driving down the road, went in the, the tunes just blaring. And they're, they're all kind of upbeat, you know. Got that, like you said, that ACDC, and they're dry. I want to say Rick Rubin <laughs> produced them or something like Could that. But anyway. They had, I think they did have somebody um, important on here. Anyway, but they, these Rick guys Rubin. have been. Dude, I can't believe you got that. Rick yeah. Rubin. Because it's. Cause look, I, at, look at how cool they look, man. Look at how cool cause that I think, looks. And this came out, it was this hard rock, and it came out during the metal time, and they were like. Totally different, Nothing like dude. That. These anyway, guys were on Saturday, Saturday Night Live. I mean, because from here they did Sonic Temple, mm-hmm. which was huge, huge, album. right? Big time. But this yeah. set the stage for that. And then they did ceremony ceremonies where I saw them live. Because I mean, over the years, it's like okay, when the timing, scene, and all that. I saw them for their ceremony tour, which was kind of like that Native American theme. I was still good. A lot of cool songs. Lenny Kravitz opened up for them, really, which was awesome and i saw him at i want to say the palladium in new york it's kind of like a theater kind of off wow. of uh madison square garden and uh i want my buddy mike and uh mike feeney and uh that it was so cool and we had great seats we bought tickets like i'm like i gotta go see these guys love them and uh we were kind of on the aisle so we got like a straight shot to the band and lenny was touring for uh the mama said tour Oh, you know, so we still kind of yeah, did it. Cool. I and that's I, so that's an artist I love is Lenny Kravitz, and I didn't know anything about him other than Let Love Rule on MTV. Um, then he's playing with these guys, dude. They were rocking, but The Cult is one of my favorite bands of all time. And dude, open it up because that inside stuff, yeah, I it's mean, so it's so good. It's a great package thing, and I mean, you look at. The identity; these guys all look different. They are not heavy metal. No, they kind of yeah, have the thing. that. They have this hard rock sound, but and they have so a I don't tripper. Think the camera they is they set look up like to see the whole panorama. So we'll just do a piece at a time. Bikers, yeah, and he's over. got the Gretsch. Was it White Falcon that he plays? Yeah. Um, pretty awesome. I mean, now I think they have a uh, like a, a model that's like his. But yeah, Ian Asbury got the super long hair. Dude, um, the, the, the black hair. Billy Duffy with the bleached. And he, they look like a biker gang just kind of rolled up, you know? Which is um, so weird because if you go back and look at their early stuff, especially Love, you would have never Yeah, they were almost like a uh, new wavy, punky yeah. Yeah. type. I mean, totally different. And this is a band Dude, that, in my opinion, go, Where did this come from? they've really kind of reinvented themselves a couple of different times. But they are definitely a band they're that They're just so great. I loved when bands would do this because the you could, because you could just sit and listen to music and just immer- just stare at you could sit you could sit here for hours and just memorize all these different photos look at all the different things I remember these people look some of them look so cool and I'm like is that Ian Asbury wait a second who you know just right. studying all these little little things I'm like, grab my glasses down and see if there's something I remember on here that i should be you know and i always thought like he's got the bleached hair and it's kind of short but he's got like what's a flag of texas on the back i was like this shot because he's got the tambourine i'm like 
Because he played tambourine Every, yeah, shows on a lot. lot of different stuff. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And you got the bullets and the, like, machinery. It, it's a pretty cool... It's a statement. Yeah. I, I love it. And, dude, what's up with the headdress, right? He had that, like, hat. Yeah, look at that. Looks like... Uh, but, you know, that, but that's part of the thing where you just go. Fred Flintstone. I'm just... going to the Buffalo Water Buffalo Club. Is that yeah. what that is? I mean, yeah, he's got he, that big hat. So then you go on the inside, and there's nothing really super interesting about this. But it's still. But you know what it was? It was just classy. It looked cool. It was just well. Everything about this I album mean, cover, everything start to finish. I, I don't think there's a bad just good. song. And there's not a bad song. Here. There's no bad songs on this. I mean, they're, not only are they not bad, they're good. Yeah. I mean, because you have you have what was on here? Little Devil. Little, Little okay, Devil. Let's go the track list. Wild Wildflower. Wildflower. I played right. that. I played that live as much as any song I'd ever played live sure. in my life. Every every band I was in, we would play that tune because it was just it's so awesome. perfect. Peace Dog. Little Devil. Come on, little devil. Go, no, no, no. Right, that's got a, little angel. What I like is they got Aphrodisiac some cool jacket, electric ocean, bad fun. Yeah, King Contrary Man was still it was a weird song. It was it's super a weird cool. song because it, 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 it like start and stop. You know, love removal machine. That's talking great. about love, love removal, love removal machine. Born to be wild, like I said, outlaw, and even even Memphis <laughs> Memphis hip shake. It was it was so awesome. These guys were so. awesome. Uh, I think Let's the guitar like playing is great. Um, they were on Sire Records. I don't even remember that. I think they were like uh, Sire. I think Madonna was on Sire. God, I don't know. Um, That's a new one to me. I don't, I don't remember that at all. I don't remember that at all. Anyway, so Sire Records. There's your record. There's but I mean, they, they weren't metal, but they were no, rock. They were. It was. It, it was, was a straight ahead rock and roll ACDC esque. You know, and I think that's kind of one of the things that I kind of liked about them. They weren't overly complex, over the top. They were just a good rock band. You know who, and still you know are. Who they would have been like, oh, wait a second. It would have been a little bit like when Jet came out. Just this yeah. straight ahead yep. rock and roll. And Master... Oh, this is just notes to something. I'm, nothing really interesting etched in as near as I can tell. Ah, hey. Dude, you're amazing that you get that. I don't know how I know these things, but I do love my Madonna. Madonna. She was great. Yeah. I, I, it's one that of the things I don't want to like. Oh, no, dude, that awesome. first album. All songs, Ashbury Duffy. And they and they really were the band. You know, for years, they've had different people, people come in. And in. Out of that thing all Who's the, the, the drummer that he was. Uh, oh, yeah. Because then he ended up with Guns N' Roses. Yeah, he ended up with Guns N' Roses. Uh, can't remember, remember his, his name. name. Oh my gosh, I feel stupid. I should. I'll get. I'll be. It'll be one of those things where in a few minutes it'll just come. shout it out. Yeah, he was. Yeah, because he joined Guns N' Roses when right before Use Your Illusion. Yeah. And yeah, he was. And he was in that show to be a rock star or whatever they'd come in and play. Hmm. I think he was like the drummer of that. Interesting. Or super group. Yeah, he was. He was. Was that super pretty group cool. when they had like Ted Nugent and like. Sebastian Bach and oh wow yeah it was like a TV show that lasted like his name anyway no. that is a great man that's such a great album no we gotta it's, bust this one out it's, again soon it's awesome I can, this is definitely on my you know you might have uh, Billy Squire and Stone Fury the Cult Electric is definitely this is, and, any and cult th- and this this album. is but this is gotta definitely be their, the their one. breast album too yeah yeah, yeah. I mean love some, is close. Love is good. I didn't think that the next one. Oh my gosh, what was Sonic it Temple. Sonic Temple, that had a bunch of good songs on it. I don't think it even touched this. They, you know, they've they had, had hits, a couple of them, but yeah, no, this. they definitely have. I mean, and they've put out a lot of material since. I want to say, uh, I think one's. I can picture the albums, but I'm like terrible with remembering. The one that had that goat. That had the song Star. Yeah. That was just an, called The Cult. It's a great song. That's a great I saw, album. I saw these guys in concert about 10 years ago. The problem is Ian Ashbury, he's, he's lost his mystique because he put on a bunch of weight. So it's kind of like, was, eh, Ian Asbury was it. like, he replaced the Jim Morrison when yeah, the Doors right, got back right. together. He had I that. I almost saw them in like this. That would have been cool, man. Uh, they played in like some casino town, Jackpot, Nevada. And uh, I know we were talking about Rat earlier, but... 
anyway, but that, that, there's another tie-in there. But yeah, they played there. But I found out like too late, and I couldn't like change my schedule to go see them. But uh, yeah, I think the Doors reunion or whatever. They play. They have some cool stuff there um, at Jackpot. But it's like two casinos and State Line, and that's about it. And you know, it's like Mesquite, kind of here. Interesting. Um, okay. Since we're sitting here talking about records specifically. You know, the, part of the discussion is this is always much more than just the music. And the music, yeah, you can't yeah. beat it. But you also, I remember seeing this album in the record stores going, that is one of the most interesting looking, everything about it albums in the store right now. And definitely they, stood out at the time. Yeah. They, they knocked from the, it from the font to the look, because they're kind of, I want to say, gothic, which really wasn't out. As that wasn't a hot selling point, so are they? I mean, because they kind of look punky, gothic, like just you know, got the weird side with some shorter hair. Yeah. Which at that time, everybody had the big hair. Uh, we saw that with Kingdom Come earlier, yeah. But I, to me, what I thought was really cool, uh, when you showed it to me, it was like, dude, it, even the font, and, and you know, that says electric, but it's you got kind of like the image down here, it almost looks like a shield. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you know the back. Uh, I think it's just really well put together, marketed. Um, you know, it's it's a cool, but yeah, it stood out. It, it was the packaging on this album, the colors that it is so well done. It looks so neat. It even feels good. Everything about it, it was it was kind of as if just top shelf. The, the just in and, and the fact that they did this and it wasn't just because some bands would put this stuff in here yeah but it'd just be like bleh yeah you know who would and pictures we're, we're but, talking, then, but they put they thought this through i mean they've got all these shapes going through here and the it, this is planned and it's thought about and there's a flow to it and you know with the bullets and all the different things that set this uh, i mean it was it's so so well done and again we talked about this is God, this. sire records madonna's album you know who who else was on Sire? That n- no rock bands that I know. I mean, to me, I I'm, would never. Yeah, I have no you know, idea. I I couldn't even tell you. Yeah, but it's... that this is a great great yeah, pick. It's good. Thanks for watching this clip from our show. Please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you enjoyed this video, I bet you know somebody else who would enjoy it too. So share it with them. Go to our channel right now where you can watch full length episodes. And thanks for stopping by.